Hello friends, my name is Alyssa and I'm the Science Program Manager at Boston Children's Museum. And today I'm coming to you from Science Playground, which is a great exhibit to come in if you want to sharpen up your science skills. And today we're going to be doing an activity as part of our National Chemistry Week celebration. The theme is Fast or Slow, Chemistry Makes It Go. And today I'm going to show you how to use the power of chemistry to blow up a balloon so you don't get out of breath. Here's the things that you'll need for today's experiment. Vinegar, baking soda, an empty water bottle or soda bottle, and you don't need the cap, so don't worry if you can't find it. A spoon, a funnel, and then you might need a rubber band or some string. And then the last thing you'll need is a balloon, or if you can't use a balloon, you can use a glove like this one. And that's what I'm going to do today. So here's how this activity works. Start by pouring a couple of inches of vinegar into your bottle. Then you're going to put a spoonful of baking soda into your glove or balloon. Maybe two. Now as you continue to try this experiment, you're going to want to play around with the amount of vinegar and the amount of baking soda to see if you get different results. Put your balloon or glove over the top of the bottle. And then you might want to use a rubber band to help secure it there. Okay, then tip up the glove or balloon so that the baking soda will fall into the bottle. And there it goes. Hello. Like I said, experiment with the amount of vinegar and the amount of baking soda to see how big you can get your balloon to be. It's a really simple activity that's fun to do to try at home. So what's happening? Vinegar and baking soda are chemical opposites. Vinegar is an acid and baking soda is a base. And when you mix an acid and a base together, you're going to get some kind of reaction. When vinegar and baking soda are mixed, they react immediately and you get sodium acetate, which is a salt, not the salt you put on your popcorn, water, and carbon dioxide gas. It's that carbon dioxide gas that makes the bubbles. The bubbles have nowhere to go but up into the glove. Thanks for joining me for this National Chemistry Week activity. If you enjoyed this activity, don't forget to check us out on social media and subscribe to us on YouTube. And there's one more thing I need to tell you about. If you like meeting creative people who make things and invent and are artists or innovators, you are going to love the Created By Festival. During the week of October 18th to 22nd, teachers and classrooms can sign up for free virtual workshops with some of these amazing makers that will come to your classroom and teach you something fantastic. Then on Saturday, October 23rd, come to the museum for the big Created By Festival. For more details and to get tickets, check out createdbyfestival.org. We hope to see you there. And thanks for joining me today, and I'll see you again soon.